YouTube. Hi, sweethearts. Welcome to Crystal Communications. My name is JD, and this is going to be a quick reading for each of the astrological signs. So check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We got the moon. We got this gorgeous new fairy lady. Hello, fairy lady. This was made by um, a beautiful artist called Forest Fairy with a double R, like it fairy with a double R dot com. If you if you love that as much as I do. <laughs> but she's amazing. She also does readings. And um, I'm looking forward to your reading. Let's get started, gorgeous ones. I want to get you. How are we going to do this? Hmm. Suddenly I feel like the energy shifted and changed, and my plan has changed. <laughs> I wanted to do an oracle. But I'm, I'm changing that. I'm going to get you guys each a dragon guide. So everyone gets a protection dragon. And a mermaid card. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Relax. And we'll get one tarot card as well. Okay, so let's start with Pisces. Hope you had a beautiful birthday, Pisces. You, of course, have got the Aquamarine Dragon from Neptune. Of course, that's your dragon. Yeah, it is. It says, enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom. Spirituality and wisdom are available to you. Develop your psychic abilities and receive inevitable soul knowledge. This is illumination for Pisces. Let's draw you a gorgeous mermaid card. You have mystery and discernment. So I feel like there's mysteries that are going to be revealed for Pisces, this illumination and discernment. It's like you're being discerning with your time and your energy. You know, it, it, the things that you consume, the things that you put, you know, that, that you, nutrition and all of that. It's like you're being discerning with yourself, with your path. And for Pisces... Yeah, Nine of Wands, there's this tendency to go from going with the flow to them being quite defensive and there's no happy medium. Spirit saying there's introspection and, yeah, Magician and the Empress. You're manifesting something new, Pisces. You're manifesting a new you, a new dream, a new vision. And to do so, you're becoming discerning. Because when you're not discerning, it's like your energy and focus could be everywhere. And everyone could be sort of creating your dream instead of you being discerning about what is what is your path. What is you, the, the things that you would like to create. Love you so much, beautiful Pisces. Bless. I want to draw you an angel card too. Since it was your birthday. It says, Don't rely on other people to inspire you and motivate you. You have to want it enough to make it happen yourself. Beautiful. That is absolutely it with discernment. It's like you need to be discerning. You're making your dreams happen rather than what other people are doing. It's like you are making it happen. You are stepping into your magician role or your emperor or empress. Love and light, bless. Hi, Aries. Welcome, Aries. Let's see, darlings. Happy birthday, Aries. Um, it's time to go party. There's enough solitude for Aries. Can we just get back out there now? Yeah. Spirit says, yeah. Yeah, you can. Um, there's going to be more community um, feelings. You're expressing yourself. You're expressing yourself maybe in ways that you haven't done before. Um, you feel a sense of connection. You also got the Aquamarine Dragon from Neptune. Trusting in the flow of your feelings and emotion. This is soul knowledge. This is illumination. Um, there's these epiphanies for you, Aries. It's like suddenly you see through the veil. You see what you're able to create 444 on the screen. Um, you hold the key. Bless you. Gorgeous. It's exciting, Aries. There's new excitement and love coming in for Aries. I love that. Happy birthday, gorgeous ones. 
bless. I'm going to draw you an angel card too. Because it's your birthday. Be kind always, even when someone doesn't seem to deserve kindness. Be kind anyway, for you know not of their struggles. Bless. Love you, Aries. Hi, Aquarius. Welcome, sweethearts. Let's see. Your mermaid card is inner knowing and gratitude. Connecting to gratitude, you do know. It's like you know a lot of things, Aquarius. Okay, you just do. So have gratitude for, for, for that in itself, you know. Um, even though it can sometimes seem confusing, tower card, there's an unexpected change. You know that something's about to change. You know that there is something going on. But have gratitude for this unexpected change. Everyone's getting the same dragon. What's going on? This dude's busy this month. The aquamarine dragon from Neptune enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom. Spirituality and wisdom are available to you, Aquarius. Develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge. This is raising the healing of the collective you. Hold the key, Aquarius. Bless you. Powerful. All right. Gemini. Hi, darling ones. Let's see, Gemini. Discernment. Gemini, you are also calling it back. Calling it back to now. You know, you know, you can't be everything for everyone and do everything for everyone. You have a lot of knowledge. Okay, you could go in and talk about all sorts of things. We could, you know, you could be so many things as well. But Spirit's saying, be discerning with your energy and what you're creating and what you're doing with your time, your focus, where your focus goes. What is it? Energy flows where focus goes. You're creating your reality and you're making swift and quick change, Knight of Swords. You're not mucking around with this change. Oh, you're being quite discerning. Gemini, you, it, it, you're just like, yep, done. Like, you only had to tell Gemini once. Orange Dragon, bring soul families and communities together. Spread belonging, warmth, and oneness. Bring people together everywhere. That's your mission, Gemini. Yeah, it, it rings deep within your soul and your heart. Everything suddenly makes sense. This is exactly what you do. You bring people together. Bless you. Sending you so much love and light. Yeah, the celebration coming in for you too, Gemini. Okay, Taurus, beautiful Taurus, breaking free, breaking free of those timelines that were holding you back, of things, uh, I'm hearing people telling you one way and you see it a different way, you're breaking free of others' expectations, you're breaking free of the norm, the status quo, you're doing you, doing things your way, you are understanding that you can create and shape and manifest breaking free from expectation ace of pentacles a brand new beginning spirits giving you a lucky coin here taurus okay a new golden opportunity on the horizon the empress there on top of the deck as well nurturing loving abundance it's you being you creating beauty in the world uh, you're looking gorgeous. You're, you know, uh, being healed by nature. Nature, very important. A dragon for you, the fire dragon. Yes. Burns up the lower energies around you. That's what you're doing. It burns up that lower density energy. You're breaking free of it. You know, the flame fire is also very natural. You are safe and protected. Be determined and, and, and inspired. Clear your soul pathway. Clear your soul pathway. You know, it, it, it's like, yeah, there's this transmutation of any energies, any things that weren't needed, making space for the new, the beautiful Empress or Emperor Taurus. Bless you. Gorgeous. I'm going to draw you an angel card too. This felt cold. Let's see, Taurus. Stunning Taurus. Reach out with compassion to someone who seems down. You may be the light that brings them out of darkness. You have a very, you have a, like a healing ability, Taurus. Bringing others out of darkness, showing others the way through your own transformation, your own healing, love and light. The magician as well. Magic. Bless you, love and light. 
Sagittarius, hi sweethearts. Let's see, Sage, mystery. Yeah, you are quite mysterious right now. So what's, what is Sagittarius up to? I don't, I don't think people can quite figure out what's going on here, Sage. <laughs> Just performing a little bit of magic, Sage. Just got some magical things going on. Um, people want to know how you're doing, how you did it, and what you're doing. You've got the fire dragon, of course you do, Sage. It's you in your element, burning up lower densities around you. You've completely transformed. You are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired. Clear your soul pathway. As the magician, the empress that you are, you're making magic. Bless. Love you, Sagittarius. It's like you've got your head down, bum up. You're just like, you're making things happen. You're manifesting. You're manifesting. You're making magic. You're a magic maker. Okay, yeah, love you. Um, Virgo, sweet one. Virgo, Commun communication. You're reaching out to others. You're making, it's beautiful. You know, people at 1111 on the screen. You're, you help others align to spirit because you are the epitome of spirit. <laughs> you are. You are the love and the light. You encourage people to be their best selves, Virgo. Ten of Pentacles, abundance coming in for you with the temperance. All right, you're manifesting. It's through your communication, through your alchemy, through the way you do things. I don't feel like you're afraid to make any sudden changes anymore. You know, you're really not. You know that spirit's got your back. The dragon, oh, the rose pink dragon, <laughs> stunning. This, if you light up people's hearts prepares your heart to connect with the higher facets of the cosmic heart open your heart to warm-hearted love and diamond light connect with the love of the universe cosmic connection you are in flow with spirit virgo you are the epitome of love and light you're glowing you're beautiful you're healing the sacred heart the highest frequency of love bless you yeah, Spirit is so proud of you. When in the world, when there's a lot spinning around and things going on, it's like you stand in your power by standing in love through the heart portal. Blessing, sisters and stars. Libra. Hi, gorgeous Libra, sweethearts. Friendship. People are so happy to hear from you, Libra. Okay, people want to help you as well. You help, you help a lot of people. It's time to let others help you. But but don't be... Know that that, can, that help can come through in different ways. Sometimes you might not have the words to say or people don't have the words to say to you. You be, might be surprised where this help comes from. It doesn't have to be from what you expect. Be open to surprises, communication from unexpected places as well. Libra. High Priestess. You'll be surprised by going with the flow, Libra. It's a change for you. It's something unexpected, death card in reverse. It's support from somewhere where you're not expecting it. You might feel disappointed that you're not getting support in one area, but that's because Spirit's bringing in support in another, plus, of course, that support from you, because you know what's up. You are the high priestess. You are in tune. You've got your back. All right. Your spirit guides have got your back. <laughs> you know, that support is you stepping into your power. Did I draw you a dragon guide? I don't think so. Let's see. The orange dragon brings soul families and communities together. Gem and I got this as well. Spread belonging, warmth, and oneness. Bring people together everywhere. You are your. You're beautiful and masterful at doing this, Gemini. I mean, <laughs> Libra, you are. Through your communication, you do so much more. This is through your creativity, and we've spoken about this for a little while. It's about your creativity, your sensuality, the way that you see things, the way that you move in the world brings so much healing. It brings people together. You, you heal. Just your presence heals. Love you so much, Libra. Blessings, love, and light. You are shining. Yeah, you are shining. You have this golden aura. You're like a gem. Like people, 
people feel like they've done, you know, it's like, I don't know, like a healing Reiki after being in your presence. It's beautiful. Love and light. Bless. Scorpio, whoa, your dragon's like, I'm here, earth and water dragon, make sure Scorpio knows I'm here, you're like, where are you, where are you dragon guy, is it just me, no, creates the foundation for new growth, a fresh start is coming with new opportunities, nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance, a fresh start, new opportunities, you're grounding this new sense of you, nurturing your ideas, and you're, you know, you're going to feel very uplifted. Awareness. I feel like this is awareness from the spiritual realm. I also just saw a vision. Um, you are very in tune, Scorpio, always. I, you, I feel a strong sense of protection for you. It's like you might be growing a new business or a new relationship or a new idea, you know, this new opportunity, but Spirit's saying like you are being protected. Okay, this venture, this thing that you're working on, this relationship, it's sacred and your guides are protecting you. Devil card in reverse, okay? Nothing's going to stop or get in the way of this beautiful love that you're, you know, you, this journey, this creation. Devil can't kind of reverse, not even your own self, not even your own fears, doubts, or worries. You can't even get in your own way with this Scorpio. Because Spirit's got your back and you're being blessed. It's time for Scorpio to be blessed. One more card. Knight of Pentacles and the Lovers in reverse with the World card. Yeah. Look, sometimes spirits saying have faith, there might be a little bit of lack of connection or the, the love is there. You might not quite know how to go forward at this time, but the new beginning is there. You know, the wheel is spinning. The Empress is there. There is a, such a loving, nurturing energy around you, Scorpio, in whatever you're creating. Okay, it's going to be beautiful and blessed. Love and light. Hmm... And time for meditation. Love you. Who's next? Cancer. Hi, sweethearts. Make sure I've got all the cards here. How are you doing? How are you doing, Cancer? I feel like there's joy over here. This is good. We've got happiness. We've got some happiness. Oh, yeah. The Empress in the world. Are you kidding me? With the lovers in reverse. But it's... it's I, I feel like that's... That's quick going to make a change there. Communication coming in quick. You're nurturing love. The brand new beginning is you're nurturing yourself and nurturing love. Okay, and this could be self-care and self-love. You don't necessarily need that outer reflection, Cancer, because it's within. You're emanating this beauty, this joy, this happiness. The brand new beginning is it's a brand new you. You're stepping into your power 100%. I feel like you're, you know, making things around your home really beautiful and comfortable. You know, it's like you're tending to your own garden. Things that aren't needed, you know, are released. And then you're, you know, you're really honoring the things around you and honoring yourself, your sacred body temple as well. Your dragon is also the earth and water dragon. Uh, Scorpio got this. This is about nurturing. It's very much the Empress card. What you're creating right now is sacred and blessed you are being sort of like in this cocoon energy spirit is saying okay you're going into the temple like cancer's being healed cancer's being restored you know you're learning a new skill what you're building this new business this relationship or this love whatever this new cycle is for you it is being blessed by spirit and it says that the foundation is being created there's a gorgeous calming feeling here for cancer a fresh start is coming with new opportunities i feel like your mind might be wandering a little bit but just bring it back okay but allow yourself to dream as well there's nothing wrong with that but it says nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance focus on your ideas and what you want to create the beautiful things in life you're keeping your focus on the beautiful things the things that make you feel loved and beautiful and nurtured and healthy healthy wealthy and wise Okay, and watch that, that harvest um, of abundance rise. Bless you, Cancer, love and light. Hmm. 
Okay. Who is next? Leo. Hi, beautiful Leo. How are you, sweethearts? Make sure I've got all the cards here. Your dragon guide, Leo, is the blue dragon from the Pleiades. Cosmic connection. Wow. Wow. Perhaps some very powerful dreams. Deep healing. A deep sense of an annoying meditation is going to be very powerful for you. It's going to be very healing for your physical body. It's also going to align you to spirit, to, to you. Prepares you to accept source healing. Accept a heart activation. Give and receive heart healing. This is the highest frequency coming through for Leo. Make a reset. That's so beautiful. You may want to do meditation with um, whales and dolphins as well. I'm seeing clouds, gazing at the clouds, very healing as well. Dolphins. Beautiful. Drink water. You know, really bless your water. Sometimes we hear people say that and we don't do it. But I urge you to bless your water because the Pleiades are sending healing through for Leo. And it just, it's just a simple moment to say, may this water be blessed. You know, take a moment to say a prayer. Get a little cosmic, you know, because you're being healed with these beautiful healing. It's going to heal that heart chakra, the highest power and frequency of all. The magician, you're manifesting magic, Leo. Receive the magic that's also incoming to you. Temperance on the back of the deck. So this is really, again, a confirmation of healing for Leo. And that is happening through water. That is happening through the sky as well. The higher wisdom. Receiving higher wisdom. Guidance from your guides. From earth angels. From the sky, the clouds, the water. I love you, Leo. Did I draw you a moment? I don't think so. Let's catch you a moment. Bless. We're going to come up to 2222 on the screen. Re-energize. That's what you're doing. Receive the healing, Leo. 2222. These meditations with anything like, you know, water the or, or cosmic meditations are going to re-energize your energy field. Love and light. Bless, bless, bless. Yeah, that, those healing waters, like drinking those healing waters, it's like, oh, it can be so gorgeous for you. Love and light. Bless. Mm. Capricorn. Hi, gorgeous Capricorn. Wow, it's been way too long, hasn't it? <laughs> Let's see. It's all the cards in the right deck. Let's get you a mermaid card. I feel like somebody's afraid to face you for some reason, Capricorn, maybe because it's been too long. Let's see. It says, heed the messengers. So you're receiving messages straight from spirit. Also your animals, the birds, spirit animals are your messengers as well. So pay attention to those. You know, I realize sometimes with my birds, they'll be like making this noise and I'll be like, oh guys, you know, get frustrated. But instead I've realized that they're my messengers. And I feel like this is what you're doing Capricorn too. You know, you're, you're not, you're not, it's like they're the messengers saying like, now is not the right time for, the, for this or that I should be paying attention to something else. Listen to those messengers. They're coming through, you know, in the winds, in the spirit animals, you know, or, or, or through people, you know, like a little birdie told me, right? It's that sort of thing. Let's draw you a dragon guide. I love you, Capricorn. I love you guys so much. Royal blue and gold dragon. Yes, so royal. Yes, you are. Strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty, Capricorn. Wear your cloak of power with pride. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Alpha dragon on top of the deck. Capricorn. Is that why somebody's like, how do I face Capricorn? It's like, you are just, you're shining here. Royal blue and gold. You're speaking your truth, you're speaking divinity, you're communicating sacred. Harnessing the divine masculine power of creation. Destroy the old, not needed. Visualize your dream. Help to manifest a new world. You're channeling and manifesting a new world, one that's in alignment with spirit, purification, communicating the sacred, the white feather there as well. You may see a white feather this week. 
wear your cloak of power with pride okay you may like to get dressed up you know or wear a robe at home there's something about really treating yourself like the royal that you are and let's see tarot for capricorn six of pentacles equal give and take reciprocity energy coming in you're going to see returns for your hard work capricorn people are wanting to you know collaborate with you as well they want to so allow them judgment allow them capricorn that's what spirit's saying allow you know you, you don't need to be defensive there might have been a situation where it wasn't so much equal give and take before but spirit's like hey allow people to give to you you've given a lot yeah knight of pentacles an offer coming in for you capricorn so receive it i love you so much blessings love and light receive my hug ready hug Ooh. yeah felt that that was a power hug that was like that was like heart but there was also like there was this like i don't know what this was it just felt like this gorgeous golden like that's that's all you guys bless love and light is that everyone? The fire signs. Was it Aries? Yes. The earth signs. The water signs. Let's see. Let's do a quick check. 12 signs of the zodiac. And guys, the um, Gracie and Rue EMF beanies are now online on Amazon. And they're just so amazing. Like, if I'm using the computer for a long period of time, I will wear them and you can notice the difference. You can also test it and see it quite clearly, but what it does for the energy body and the physical body is amazing. So do check it out, especially if you are using um, Wi-Fi and electronic devices a lot. I know that it's like air, it's one of those things we can't see, but it is scientific. I know you guys already know this. But it does create cell damage when we're using our technology for long periods of time. So we just want to raise our frequency and also, you know, use things like the natural 100% silver lining that protects us in times when it's needed. Okay, so let's see. Beautiful ones. That's everyone. I feel like this was really quick and like I could stay all evening. <laughs> but that's it, I guess. Why do I not want to leave? Let's do a collective quick reading. She who avenges revenge, justice, outcomes, and she who knows wisdom, clarity, resolution. I feel like your enemies might be getting a little bit of, you know, their own medicine at this time. And it's not that you wish anyone any harm. Okay, but I do feel like if there's anyone that was your nemesis before, they're suddenly seeing clarity and I just, like other people are receiving this clarity about you as well. Because you're wise. You uplift, elevated yourself and others. Pearl. She who rises up, empower, uplift, elevate. That's what you've done. That's what you're doing. That's what you're helping others do. There's no hard feelings. There's only rising to the frequency of love. There's only forgiveness. There's only release. There's only unconditional love. And you continue to rise. You continue to transform. You continue to see. She who sees, observe, perceive, scrutinize, Makita. Yeah, you're very in tune with the divine. Judgments in your favor. Escape dreams and fantasy. It's time to dream. Astrologically, up until May, we are being inspired and guided to dream. Okay, the, those dreams that are in alignment with your health, your happiness, your joy, Okay, so dream, 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 that's the message. You are protected, you are loved, bless you, ciao for now. All right, I'll leave you guys alone now, see you soon.